Along the journey of feline ownership, the ability to read your cat's body language can really send you on the fast track to building that bond of trust with your pet. If your cat can communicate with you, even in the absence of meowing or purring, and you know immediately what message they're trying to convey, that makes you the leader of the pack, and don't think for a moment that your cat won't notice. While so much can be made of the feline body, the postures and the movements, and the many moods of the feline tail, the ability to read your cat's eyes, to know what they're trying to tell you with a simple glance and subtle changes in pupil size, that can make a huge difference when it comes to how your cat relates to you, how much your cat trusts you. And while there are several pieces of literature and charts to be absorbed as it relates to what type of story a cat's eyes can tell, I've got my own version. Today I'll speak about the soft glance of trust, the eyes of want and desire, the look of aggression, what I like to call morning coffee eyes, and the eyes of fear. Before we get started, it's important to note that a couple of these visuals, what you will see from your cat, can be very similar. For example, the eyes of trust and the eyes of want and desire. They're not quite the same, but they're very close. That's just one piece of this puzzle that I'll connect for you today. Now that we have our foundation in place and what you can expect moving forward in this material, let's explore the role of eye contact in feline communication and what it can mean for you. Stay tuned. We'll begin with a soft glance of trust. If you're living right as a cat owner, this is pretty much the look you hope to see, the look you hope to receive most often. It's a courtesy glance that cats give those they trust and find familiar, those they feel comfortable around. With respect to appearance, what you'll see, the soft glance often consists of eyes partially open, narrow pupils, sometimes marginally rounded. Cats that are trusting and relaxed, they could give you a few blinks along the way, this is another example of supreme confidence in their environment and in you. Think of the glance of trust in general as more or less the default position. If your cat is just enjoying life in your home, resting on the sofa, just looking around, the eyes in that moment, that's the soft glance. Your cat observing, yet satisfied, curious, yet content. Moving on to the eyes of want and desire. And this is where some degree of overlapping can occur and often does. When a cat is looking to have essential needs met, fresh food, fresh water, change of the litter box, or has a strong desire for positive interaction, a cuddle session, a play session, your pet could give you a rather focused eye. More than just a soft glance, the focused eye is a loving eye. However, the eyes of want and desire can also include a few blinks. In the feline world, blinks are almost like a kiss, a sign of love. Think of it this way. The soft glance, we're just chilling and relaxed. The look of want and desire, your cat is more focused, a rounded pupil, but these are still actions of contentment. Your cat is purring, rubbing against you, yet giving you a bit more of an intense look, a look of intent, wanting you to act. The soft glance and the look of want and desire can be a bit confusing, but let's put things into action. Want and desire, it often comes with the look back, sort of a signature move. If you are walking with your pet, say in the living room, the main room, the room from your living room to the kitchen. If your cat wants something, they'll likely walk with you, possibly take the lead, and then give you a look back. Walk, and then look back. This is your cat's way of making sure that you are following. Your pet is directing traffic. Think of it as leading you with their eyes. The eyes of wanted desire are the eyes of happy action. With a soft glance, let's just call it a lazy Sunday on the sofa. Now let's move on to the look of aggression. This one is a bit easier to understand on the surface level, and we should all be so very thankful for it. The eyes of aggression, they can serve as a major warning signal. Think of it as the calm before the storm. Intense and direct eye contact. A staring contest, perhaps with another cat that just never seems to quite end. Blinks that just never seem to happen. A locked-in stare. Narrow pupils. This is the look of intimidation, the look of strength and dominance. And if someone, animal or human, is on the receiving end of this visual, it's likely the last thing they see prior to direct physical conflict. If your pet is giving the aggressive eyes and it's coupled with a stiff and rigid body posture, 
hissing or other harsh vocals, something a bit rough and tumble could be about to happen. If your cat happens to give you this look, consider it your warning and back up and move away. In the home setting, especially in a multi-pad household, this eye appearance can potentially give you a bit of time to break up an altercation with another pet before it ever begins. Again, let's be thankful for these warnings. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, have you had your morning coffee? Well, most cats under the age of five certainly have the curious wide eyes. Cats that carry loads of life and energy and are still finding life to be rather curious and interesting, an interesting adventure, they are loaded on that coffee look. Felines are hardwired to fulfill their basic instincts. And cats that are in their peak physical condition or nearing it, they're happy and quite excited. This isn't the look of aggression or fear. Your cat, let's just say, is high on life, young and ready for the prom. Tall, happy tail, relaxed and confident body. And wide eyes, exploring the world. This is what I like to call the morning coffee look. Our next form of eye communication involves the eyes of fear. Perhaps just as wide as that morning coffee look, but these wide pupils are for completely different reasons. If your cat is afraid, feels threatened, or senses danger lurking, the eyes of fear, those fearful pupils, that's what you'll see. If there is a noticeable tension in your cat's body with fur all but standing on end, that's fear. And before I close things out for today's material, it's important when talking about any type of body language to take in the big picture, the bigger picture. Understanding what your cat is trying to tell you with their eyes, it's very important. However, it's all but just one piece to a much larger puzzle. When your cat attempts to communicate with you, other people, other animals in the home, be mindful that you'll likely witness a series of other cues. It's all about the collective. And by placing everything in your kit of knowledge, you'll be prepared for most every look and sound that your cat will ever have to offer. Being able to read your cat's body language as a cat owner outside of providing your pet with the essentials, the ability to understand your pet's cues, it can really be the ultimate difference maker when it comes to establishing that bond of loyalty and trust. Once your cat realizes that you can meet them on their level, they'll likely place you at the very front of the line. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, what are your thoughts on this topic? Does your cat have very expressive eyes? Have you learned what certain looks really mean? The soft glance and the blinks, what looks do you receive most often? If you have a multi-pet household, are you keen to the eye communication that your cat or cats give to other animals? Your personal ownership stories and general views on this topic, a comment section as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.